Hello and welcome back to another Best in Slot Gear series. This is episode 6 and let's jump straight in. This is what we have at the end of the last episode and everything we've got left to go for. This page is almost finished so not much left on here, mainly the Limitless Sigil. So uh, hopefully we get it in this episode. So we have spent quite a bit of time at Armadale uh, today and yesterday. We're up to like 1100kc. If I just find it, where is it? There we go, we got a few, we got a chain skirt, leveled it up for four components, a buckler and some boots. And uh, we got seven components, we tried for a P6 Aftershock 1, which we got. So I stuck that on the one on the appraisal. So I got the best in slot perk on that now. And then we got the Aftershock 4 E2, which I've already made on the Singularity. And then I tried for another Aftershock 4 E2, because we got the Lance the other day. And I've put that, well we got, well, we got Aftershock 4 Ruthless 1, which is quite good for the uh, two-handed staff anyway, so it'd be nice for Talos to keep the Ruthless stacks from killing the minions. So we got that on there, Mage Stealth is looking very nice, and then we moved on to just upgrading the melee a little bit. I put the old Aftershock 3 from my wand on the mace. Uh, that's still got the Equilibrium 4, which should probably change and work towards changing. But we also put Aftershock 3 on my NZS, yes, so technically when we go to Solak and we hybrid, I shouldn't lose any Aftershock stock, uh, stacks now at all, which is very nice. And uh, it's just a nice increase for my melee, and uh, I guess I'll just start working towards these perks and getting back into Slayer for Limitless. Right, so the streak, straight after the last one where we lost the uh, two orbs, just on the farmers percent. We've got another orb, so of course we're going to streak it, but <laughs> I just want to get a dormant, please, like, that's all I really want. And we're just sat here at AFK and Armadale, we need some Armadale components for perks, and we've also got a Slayer Task, and we just got the Giant Feather at, like, 1100kc. <laughs> I've not even done that much hard mode, like, 10 kills in hard mode, so, yeah. This should be the log, but we literally need all the war priests there apparently it's been increased in the drop rate's been increased in like one of the last few updates and the first kill of today first kill of the hour a pretty disaster kill we signed uh, to something stupid uh, but yeah we got the reprisal codex double chest as well so let's claim this and yeah we needed that reprisal so that's done with very very nice just the d sauce to go now very nice indeed Quick update on the slave front, we've just gone over 1k battle sparks, we're over halfway now to Limitless. We're almost at 114 slay and we are starting to set up Simona and a block list so that we can pretty much just do back to back Sword of Arrows or Cut Creatures and get them as frequent as possible. So yep, I'm ready to grind this now that we got the reprise, I'm going to take a little break from Telos. Um, probably like a day or two actually thinking it about it in my head, I really want to go back and finish it. but. For now, we're just gonna keep this slayer. So after that streak, we lost a 65 kill streak and decided to just go from 800 start. And uh, well, as the first orb, it is duplicate, but I want to claim it just so I can have a spare orb set in the bank ready. And uh, yeah, it's just fun to do some high rate. So this is about uh, what <laughs> five kills later, we had an orb. <laughs> Easiest storm I've ever done in my life. Well, then I think I should have been doing 800 in rage from the beginning because, what, three kills since our last or <laughs> We've just got another one. <laughs> 13 for now. Okay, then. <laughs> we have just hit 115 Slayer, meaning that we can now do the Magister without having to boost. And uh, hopefully, we can finish off Limitless by doing so. I'll just kill this one and then we'll talk about that. Unless it drops a spark. Nope. So I just checked my bank, I think what's like 275 keys or something like that. Uh, where are they? Or oh, 265 even, and we were, uh, yeah, what, 432 sparks to go. So, fingers crossed we can get these done while using the keys. So, we've just been doing a full raid and from Beastmaster, we've just got the little Tuzzy Pet. 152kc so I'm going to assume that is quite a lot. We have spent the last few days literally just doing nothing but Slayer. We hit 115 and um, we're almost 116 actually because Magister is just stupid XP. Uh, we have used up nearly all our keys and we got up to like, 515 no 513 and uh, this is the last for like Trimini so 
you need five anyway. Um, but yeah, as if he gave me five. And there we go, that is 300 scraps. We're almost at limitless, like what, 46 off, but we have run out of the old feathers, so that's the kind of, yep, time gate on that. I don't really know what to do now, other than just AFK and wait for feathers uh, to restock. But I think if we you know, just restore, I don't really know what I'm doing. We're just gonna click yes again. Oh, do we need one of each? So I need one of each and then it's definitely the main hand. Yep. Make that. We have our tier 92 Kopesh. Very, very nice. You can upgrade from the drag or 437 mil. Oh. Okay, that's more than a four. I will stick an augmenter on this and we will go ahead and take off the aftershock or whatever perk. Actually, no, I think we'll leave it for a second just for now um, because I can almost do a P6 aftershock one attempt, which is what we will stick on uh, the main hand. So, fingers crossed we can get that. But for now, I'm just going to go AFK some divination and we will wait for the feathers to reset. After skipping quite a lot of the Simona tasks, trying to get cut creatures or sword varmers, we ended up getting a little bit stuck under 30 points to skip anything and we got spiritual mages but it's not too bad because we can just do this armadillo spot it's kind of chill i'm not bothering to overload but we did just get some armadillo greaves which I'm pretty sure we need for the log and that puts us at just one item off the armadillo log if i just check now fingers crossed it is the one that we needed yes it was so <laughs> we just need a pair of boots which apparently from these people War Priest is 1 in uh, 128, so it shouldn't be too bad to get unless we get a duplicate. So fingers crossed we don't and we can uh, finish off a boss log. Speaking of getting the boots, maybe you get them in order from these, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure you don't, I just kind of got lucky and not getting another duplicate. But uh, yeah, War Priest to finish the log. Our KC for Armadillo was 1400. <laughs> yep, we kind of got lucky on the pet, as you already know in the previous video or previous clip, but that's our first boss log done. Well, I was trying to get a precise 6 after chuck 1 to put on my main hand Kopesh, and then I was going to take the after chuck 3 off of my offhand Dragor, the old one, or whatever, and stick it on uh, my offhand Dragor, or yeah, whichever. But we just got Aftershock 1 instead, that's the second one I've got trying to go for this perk. Um, I guess I'm just going to stick it on. Never mind, I was going to stick it on the SGB, but I've got to have P5 on it. So I need a P6 Aftershock 1 for my SGB as well. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this for now. I'm just going to leave it there and uh, go back to Slayer and Molding. Coming in with 116 Slayer. 34 mil to 120. Equipped creatures task. Very, very close to finishing Limitless now. It should easily be done. Maybe even this task could be the one if we get lucky on the sparks. But if not, it will be very, very soon. So I just watched back the clip of me making the actual Limitless sigil. For some reason, it just had no audio. Uh, I'm not sure why. I've not changed anything and it seems to be working now. But we have got the Limitless sigil now. We went over by like 16 sparks and then we claimed the chest which had a lot of alcohols in so that's very very nice and uh, we can stop with Slayer for a little bit and um, get back to some PVM. Just doing a bit of Herbal to restock some of the overloads that we've been missing and if I just scroll up here we just got Herbal pet, oh well Herbert the Herbal pet, yeah, 39 mil XP. And there is the Volcanic Horn, so 999 claim, I think this is like uh 15 uh, 15 16 25 kc very nice so we just got the eldritch crossbow limb first piece of the crossbow on 14 solos <laughs> and 10 duos <laughs> one of three and it didn't double but we also got 16 onyx stuff and we've just finished an ed3 reaper and uh <laughs> I can't quite believe it, but we've just got the second piece of the Eldritch crossbow. I really did not expect to get that. That's our 19th solo. 
<laughs> That's insane. Aren't you? We have updated the sheets, so we've taken off the Seren God Bow and added in the Eldritch Crossbow, which, as you've just seen, we got two very lucky pieces of. We've also got the uh, first Kopesh weapon in there, and then onto the next one, we have pretty much the same. We've ticked off Limitless now, which is going to be a huge improvement for Melee, and we've also added in three Aftershock 4s in total, like Aftershock 4 or Ruthless 1, we're going to count that as well. Um, but yeah, we've had a pretty crazy episode, <laughs> especially starting the ED3 grind, finishing off Limitless, a Kopesh, and this stupid Talos RNG we had, like, in such a short amount of time at higher range so fingers crossed we can get that dormant staff as list gate done uh, probably won't even use it because we are you know inquisitor is a thing but it'll be nice to get the dormant title done and dusted